Hey, 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 what's going on? I, uh, I want to talk to you about the fueling stuff that I'm doing with the Cummins right now. Um, I'm out here, I just wanted to check it out and see what I've got. Um, so I'm going to show you that while I'm at it. Uh, as you know, it is a uh, highly sought after P7100 pump on my engine. And uh, there's probably thousands of videos on P pumps and adjustments and stuff like that on YouTube but uh, there's if you know how to decipher that code some guys do some don't I sure don't but uh, it's supposed to be 190 horse pump let's see the uh, yeah B59190 so it should be 190 horse pump um, as far as fueling on these goes like turning up fuel, adjusting fuel, this, that, and the other. Um, there's a, a few different things you can do with them. Uh, this is your aneroid, uh, which is your your low boost or no boost pre pre bleh, 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 pre boost fueling. Okay, and that that adjustment should be under this little cover right here. Um, I think uh, your star wheel here which is your I guess mid to high range uh, and, and look I'll go ahead and tell you right now I know a lot about multi-fuel injector pumps but I've never done anything like this with a p-pump so, okay this is my first time I've done a lot of reading and a lot of video watching on YouTube so um, as far as doing any of this with the p-pump I'm not an expert so I'm learning and there's a good chance you may know more about it than I do. Uh, but I'm doing my best here. So, uh, if you take this off, you have a foot and a plate. Okay, so there's your foot. And this is your fuel plate. Now, uh, you can replace these with different plates that have a different... Um, and you can't see it down in there. It's It's got an angle cut on it that... I guess a fuel lever in there rides on and uh, this works in conjunction with that so uh, as the boost increases it, it moves this uh, it moves this foot right here because right there your aneroid line attaches to the manifolds that that's basically your boost sense for the pump uh, now you can change this plate or if you look very carefully here you can see that the holes, the mounting holes, are slotted. So you can loosen these screws and slide the plate forward uh, as far as it'll go, and that'll give you a little more fuel. And it's the same thing with the entire top plate here. See these holes are slotted? So when you put the top plate on, you can slide it all the way forward too. And that's the reason I know this pump has never been messed with, is this is still at the stock setting, slid all the way back and this was as well so um, granted this did not have a tamper proof screw in the top left corner where they usually do but uh, unless this plate has been replaced for a different with a different kind and I don't know it because um, I, I look I don't know what that number means uh, this may be a 215 horse fuel plate or 300 horse fuel plate I, I have no idea um, uh, you know, maybe one of you guys knows. Uh, it, look, if, if you can identify that plate from that number, post it in the comments. I'd, I'd love to know if, if that's a 190 horse pump fuel plate or if it's something else. Uh, but as, as far as me knowing, I, I have no clue. Anyway, uh, and, and look, you can also take these plates out and you can grind that, uh, that, that right there on here. You can grind it flat. Or grind it to a 100. If if you search, there are uh, there's a diagram of different profiles that you can grind it that ramp to uh, to give you different fuel rates. Anyway, um, right here is where your governor springs go. Uh, and look, you can look up a video on how to do that on YouTube. Uh, I'm not going to make a video of that because there's enough of them out there. It's not super complicated. Uh, I may end up doing a um shit what is it called an afc live because this is your afc your air fuel control housing 
the whole assembly. Uh, Power Driven Diesel has a unit called AFC Live that replaces the guts of this and it makes it adjustable on the fly with a, a small box in the cab. Uh, and I, I'm, I may do that later on. I'm probably not going to do it now. Um, anyway, I just, I, I'm, I'm most likely going to leave this like it is, leave it all stock until, until I get the motor in the truck and actually get it running. And uh, I can drive it around a little bit. And once I get it to where I can actually drive the truck and see how it performs in stock configuration, uh, then I'll, I'll probably go ahead and uh, I know myself. I'm going to end up sliding that fuel plate forward, maybe grinding the ramp flat on it or grinding it to a hundred plate and then sliding the AFC forward too. Uh, I just, I want to see what it is stock so I can actually see gains as I change things. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to walk you through that real quick, show you a few things that I'm thinking about doing with it and uh, just let you know where I'm going with it, what I'm thinking. So, um, hey. Please like the video, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.